Two more examples on how to find the domain of a function, specifically log functions. In this case, we have f of x is equal to ln of 1 over x minus 5. And keep in mind, ln is just log base e. So the same principle here applies. Let me make sure, let me write it down here. Whenever we have a log function, in this case, the natural log function, we have to make sure the inside, which is this, 1 over x minus 5. This fraction has to be greater than 0. And now let me ask you, how can we solve for this inequality that involves the x in the denominator? Can we just multiply x minus 5 on both sides? No, because on the right hand side we have 0. If you do that, x minus 5, right, multiply on both sides. 0 times x minus 5, you get 0. It's something weird will happen. So you see, this is why I talked about the previous strategy in the previous video on how to use the number line to check for your answer. In this case here, because this is not a linear inequality, this time the x is in the denominator. We still do it with the same thing as I show you. We are going to look for what are the numbers that we care. And to do so, we have to look for the top. Do we have any x? No, it's just a 1, so you don't worry about that. On the bottom, this is x minus 5, and you know we will care about positive 5, because 5 will make the denominator 0. And let me remind you, whenever we have a top over a bottom, right, a fraction, you see that we have to make sure, let me also write it down, this is also one of the conditions we have to set up. Make sure that the bottom cannot be 0. So we care about this 5 because 5 will make the bottom 0. And now we just use the number line to indicate the number that we care, which is 5 here. We are not including the 5, otherwise you will get a bad fraction. That's no good. And we pick a number that's less than 5. So you can say 3, you can say 4.8 if you would like. Anyways, let's use 4. Plugging 4 into here, let's see, 1 over 4 minus 5, right? Is this greater than 0? Well, 4 minus 5 is negative 1 in the bottom. 1 over negative 1, we get negative 1. Is this greater than 0? No, it's false. That means we cross it out and we don't shade this part of the number line. Then we check for a number that's bigger than 5. Let's say 6. Then we plug in 6 into here. And we see that we have 1 over 6 minus 5. And this time, do we get something that's bigger than 0? Yes, because 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Is 1 greater than 0? Yes, in that case, you just color this part of the number line, and then you got the domain. This right here, it tells us the domain is 5 or bigger. And in interval notation, let me write it down, domain, it will be 5, comma, infinity, and then parentheses, parentheses. This is it for the answer. Number 6, we have this one. This is also slightly different than number 5, and you will see why this method works much better. We have ln of x plus 2 over x minus 5, and inside is this fraction that we are looking at, right? Let's make sure the inside x plus 2 over x minus 5, it has to be greater than 0. And this time, what are the numbers that we care? In our situation here, we have x both on the top and also on the bottom, right? On the top, if the top of a fraction is 0, then the whole thing will be 0. So in fact, I want to see how can we make the top to be 0 x plus 2 is 0, that will tell us x is going to be negative 2. And that's the number that we care, because I want to see how to make this fraction to be 0. And let me remind you on the side, if we have 0 over any number, let's say 7, this right here gives us 0. But then when you have 7 over 0, for example here, this gives us undefined, right? So the reason that I picked up negative 2 is because I want to see how to make this whole fraction 0, because we want to see on the right hand side. And then on the bottom here, we have x minus 5, and then just like this, 
just like this as well. We care about positive five. And now let's get to work. Let me draw the number line here and let me indicate negative two first on the left like this and then five right here because negative two is smaller than five, right? And for these two numbers, even though we care about them, but I do not want to include them, so let me put down open circle for these two numbers. When x is negative two, we will end up with zero here, right? Because this situation, zero, and zero is not greater than zero, so that's why I do not want to include negative two. For five, that will make the bottom zero. That's even worse. That's bad. So I don't want to include the five. And now here is the continuation. We are going to pick up number that's less than negative two. Let's say negative three. Then we plug in negative three into this inequality, and I want to see if it's true or not. Plug in negative three into this x, we will have negative three plus two on the top over negative three minus five on the bottom. Is this greater than zero? Well, let's do the computation. On the top, we have negative one, right? Negative three plus two, that's negative one, over negative three minus five, that's negative eight. Is this greater than zero? What's negative one divided by negative eight? That's positive one over eight. So we are taking this part of the number line. So anything from negative two toward the left is going to be on the domain. And then we pick a number in between of negative two and five. Let me use zero. You can use one. You can use negative one. You can use two. Doesn't matter. Zero is certainly in between of negative two and five, right? Then we plug in zero into this x here. We set up zero plus two over zero minus five. Is this greater than zero? Well, on the top we have two over negative five. This is false because two divided by negative five is negative two over five. That is not greater than zero. So we leave this alone. At the end, we pick a number bigger than five. Let me say six. Plugging six into this x here, we get six plus two over six minus five. Is this greater than zero? On the top we get eight. Over on the bottom we get one. Eight over one is past the eight, so we know it's definitely bigger than zero. So we take this part for the number line, and that will be. The part of the domain as well. At the end, you see the answer turned out to be totally different because this time we have two pieces, right? So let me write it down here for the domain of this function. First, we have here this arrow keeps on going toward the left. That means we started with negative infinity, and then up to negative two, and parentheses parentheses. And we have this part as well, so we have to put down the union. We are going to put this together, and we pick five, not the six. Six is just a test value. The five is the number that we care. Five to infinity. Then this is a positive infinity. Once again, parentheses, parentheses, and this is the domain. Perhaps this is hard. This one, right? But I know you can handle it. That's it.